Hi, welcome. This is uh, Arch Linux, but it's BSPWM. So it's a um, win tiling window manager. And it is, has normally a Conky at the side here, but uh, well, Conkeys are not really for a tiling window manager, but it's there for you to help if you want to know the keyboard shortcuts when you first boot up. So if you want to get rid of that, it's just Casey or Kill Conky. All right, that's set. There's a red thing up here and there's the question on Discord. And Discord is a uh, question is about this, URXVT. When they type LS, they don't see some kind of letters. Um, so yeah, there, there were some blocks or, or had a square, kind of square thing around letters. Now, I have to update anyway. So I said, okay, let's uh, boot up this system. Um, something interesting maybe I wanted to figure out command last the command last shows you when you've last book logged in or booted up so May the 18th and we are today almost 11 days later let's say so 11 days worth of updates are coming in now so remember interesting thing last to figure out hey how long how long it was that that I booted this SSD because you know I don't have 20 uh, machines here 20 computers no I have two computers with two bays and in this bay I pop in 20 SSDs that's better so let's update this system 430 megabyte which is for us normal which is for Debian using people who come from Debian uh, or maybe RPM or souls or any other might be much might be a lot and uh, depending on your hardware on your uh, CPU, depending on your network, um, you might say, whoa, this is a lot, this takes a long time, and there's a lot of bandwidth, etc." But for us, this is business as usual. It's super normal. Now, the speed, as you see here, is utterly slow, which means we can include a lesson, something to do. There is an alias, and there is an alias about your mirrors. Arch Linux stuff, comes from Arch Linux servers. And these commands, mirror, mirror A, mirror D, and mirror S, is going to launch an application that's gonna ask, hey, what are at this point in time, the best mirror lists here in Belgium? That's where I reside. And if you're uh, living in, in uh, Portugal or, or in, in South America, anywhere, it will look for the best and the servers around in your neighborhood, okay? So yeah, we definitely need to have better mirrors. So I'm gonna type mirror. You see all these lines. So these um, guys are being pulled, let's say, and they've been questioned, do you have it? Uh, how fast are you? All this information is then uh, put in a small list. And let's see, probably this guy is gonna win. This is the fastest out there, which is UK, it seems, okay? So this is now changed when I do another update. It gets the information from those servers, not the one that we used to have. And I hope that's gonna be solved a lot faster. And it is a lot faster. Okay, so you see, that's how you figure it out and how you decide, okay, let's switch servers because this is not working for me. And there are four commands for that. If one is not working, use another one. Now, when we type updates, then we update Arch Linux and Arco Linux. So if you're totally new, and I, I have the feeling that more and more people, newer people are coming with, again, of course, the super basic questions, and then, um, well, this is where I looked it up, right? So this last command, I always tend to forget it, the last command, you, this is how to find out the last system reboot time. Now, the Arco Linux info page, there's one page which really gives you a super condensed um, amount of information and that's this one the Arch Linux editions in the tiling window managers you have a menu that's called Arch Linux hello but this is in the the normal window uh, managers I mean so there is no menu in any of these tiling windows things but I believe let's have a look super f12 hello no Arch Linux no so it's not present here on tiling window managers. So do check out this page. This gives a condensed, um, compressed 
way of okay this is our clinics these are our projects this is what you can do that's why we do an update update means this guy to the left that guy to the right and later on i'll do pksyua afterwards and then i only get the aor because update has been done already so we are lots of arch stuff and a few stuff from aor and a few stuff from us but basically you see all the red it's a lot of arch but you go ahead and you read and follow videos etc etc that's the recording so pksyua by the way let's make it a complete tutorial in the sense that what you want to check is do i get a new kernel so it's sometimes not alphabetically so this guy that's something that we have uh, updated but i know it's not in the etc scale so i don't need to use the command scale for it i'm looking now for linux here it is so we have a new core we jump from 5.12 to 5.15 meaning i should reboot but of course i make a video so i'll reboot later and then the rest coming from the aor so there's only one thing to do from um, vivaldi and that's it basically and we're just waiting let's maybe go into detail maybe you have, haven't noticed that this is a red hat package red hat package manager rpm so aor is not specific arch linux it can be debian stuff it can be zips githubs GitLabs, whatever any source is good we use a recipe we call it package build and it's going to put stuff in your particular directories these are the directories somewhere in this environment it will put some files and folders and it will work on your system that's a package build all right so this system is up to date and now back to the question at hand there was a problem with fonts I'm not sure why or why that is because you see everything looks normal this is the Arconix B BSP WM the one from June so everything is nice here the only thing we could think about is fonts. So if it changes, if you change the font in here, there's monospace, maybe you don't have the fonts installed, or maybe you um, have conflict in fonts, why not? It's possible too. So I probably would go to Pac-Man, so not Pac-Man, but Pamac, AOR. There's this application, Pamac AOR, and figure out maybe um, what fonts am I missing. There's this word fonts, which is a good thing. Uh, TTF would be a good thing as well. TTF stuff and OTF probably as well. OTF also something interesting to know, but it seems I did not install any OTFs. Okay, fine. Good to know. So I've learned something too. TTFs installed. Again, trying to see if that is that's correct. There is nothing installed. Okay. So that's uh, one thing to check out. Whether um, this terminal font is missing or something like that. Something. The other thing I would check out is the X resources. X resources. If you type in font. You'll get something right so here it says monospace and let's go for another one find another font letter space monospace regular size so what if this monospace is not found maybe then you get these strange um, messages or um, letters that are missing so that's another thing you could have a look at but basically everything looks nice here everything is up to date um, the system is working Alt N, let's change the wallpaper, Alt N, because that was still the, the standard one. So variety is kicking in with all its shortcuts, Alt N, and so on. All right, so enough wallpapers. This is just a quick uh, video. There are some, were some topics that might interest you, I think, but the solution for the font, well, you'll still have to figure that one out. All right.
Ja, fan.